anything happens, I want you to know, I tried. Yeah, then yes, but I need to check if you're in the system. Six four seven. Yeah. One seven nine. Mm. Mm. Double six. Mm. Nine four eight. Mm. Mm. This overdraft notice is new, sir. Yes, I gathered that. That's, I, but that doesn't make any sense. The, lo the last time I made a withdrawal was like the last time I was here, so I shouldn't have to pay anything off. Your last deposit put you around 800 rand. However, in the last couple of weeks, an additional overdraft charge was charged to your account, which put you back in the middle. But I paid it off with the interest. No, it didn't. Yeah, but clear. I, I paid in cash. The cash was unable to clear in time, and when it doesn't register in the system, it leads to the client being charged and again, as the transaction was never actually completed. This is bullshit. I'm sorry. Such bullshit, okay? I paid in cash. It should have been completed. The way cash has been done, it's on you. Screw it up. Unfortunately, if it didn't clear in time, there's nothing I can do. Okay, so what do you want me to do? Hmm? Well, what you can do is use your current 800 Rand to pay, but since the overdraft is sitting at 1100 Rand, that will lead you to being 300 Rand in the negative, meaning all credit will have to be reducted. Well, thanks for nothing. On behalf of the bank, I yeah, apologize yeah, yeah, for the inconvenience. Okay. This is a new system. I wonder if that guy was actually going to use that money for food. He didn't look like a dope user, and that's probably why I was happy to give it to him. I've had friends get hooked on that shit. You can watch them lose fucking everything just to shoot up one last time. Their names are Jake, Jared, and Arnie. Like me, none of them passed high school. Unlike them, my excuse wasn't drugs. I was just dyslexic as shit. So yeah, my financial problems don't have anything to do with drugs. All that stuff at the bank wouldn't be a problem if I could get a job. I've had a few odd ones now and then, but nothing that can pay any sort of bill. This is Cape Town after all. For every great view is overpriced rent and a 47% unemployment rate. Every good job needs experience, but when you apply for a shit one, they want a matric certificate, which I do not have. And when you don't have that, you need experience even for the same shit jobs. But then again, I'm not the poor bastard having to beg some sorry asshole for money. Any luck? You know, tell me some bullshit about the last payment, Andre. But you paid in cash. Yeah, I know I paid in cash, but I paid in cash wasn't clear in time when I only wanted more fucking money, so... Okay... Malika and I have been together since high school. We've lived together for over a year now. We've been staying in a student accommodation even though neither of us were studying. We managed to pay off the lease with money left over from my dad's inheritance. Only issue is the lease ends next month 
and we don't have any way to move to once it does. Well, can't you like query it or something? I'm pretty sure they're going there because it's a query. Well, maybe this could take the edge off. I thought we ran out. Maybe so. How much should it cost? Same as normal, why? Um, I mean, you could have at least run it by me first. Like I didn't think I had to. Babe, we need to find a new place. And we wouldn't be able to afford one if you keep spending money on this shit. Okay. Plus, what does it say about smoking in the house? Like, seriously. Jesus. I just thought it would be nice. Okay. Hey, look, we can probably make a couple of jobs and dig here. Why don't you just ask Carl for another job? I'm not gonna ask Carl for another job. The last job was too much trouble for pretty much nothing. Then just find a better house. Oh, yeah. I forgot to mention. I used to rob a house for money. I thought you hated me stealing. I do. But it's the only thing that you do that brings in any sort of money. Well, firstly, I only did it to give us a head start. Well, now it seems like we need another one. Um. Let's just. Let's just wait till you're back on contract, okay? Ugh, yeah, fuck. Um. You did get a letter that came in today in the from, post? From the contractor? No, I, I, I don't know. I didn't open it. I just put it on the kitchen counter. Oh, shit, why didn't you tell me? I walked in. Just make it an easy one. This one's just thing is an easy one. I just don't want you to get hurt. Okay, so what do you actually want from me then? Huh? Do you want me to go back or not? Because I'm actually getting mixed messages here. The hard truth is that we need the money. The inheritance is finished and I'm the only one that's doing something to bring in Jesus. any sort of cash. So you're using that to guilt trip me, huh? Acting all high and mighty because you're the way we in the house, right? But you want me to go back and my fucking houses. Fuck off with that, Malika. Jesus. Okay, okay, I'm sorry. I didn't no, mean no, it no, like no. that. Don't bullshit me, Malika. You meant exactly that, okay? And I'm sorry. I'm sorry that I don't have a matric certificate. I'm sorry that I can't get a fucking job. And I'm sorry that you're not happy here. But I'm trying. I'm trying. <laughs> I'm not blaming you. It's not your fault. You know what? Let's just get out of here. What? I'm serious. What's the point of staying? Let's just leave. You take one last job with Carl. He gives you the share after he's pawned all the goods. We buy bus tickets and we get the fuck out of here. Where will we go? I don't know. But I think we could just figure it out when we get there. What? No, 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 nothing. It just it sounds like. Sounds like. Just sounds like um, some fairy tale. Well, I think we could use a fairy tale. Yeah, we could. That evening, I sent Carl a message. The only problem with doing a job with Carl is he was fucking crazy. <laughs> I was introduced to him by my friend Jake. He told me he could hook me up with a gig that paid well. At first, I thought he was an asshole because he spoke like an edgy 16 year old saying dumb shit like, Time to break this like your mother's back. And honestly, I never stopped thinking he was an asshole, but that didn't stop me from joining him. Truth be told, I should have seen the red flags. He had quite the villainous backstory a shit full dad and a mom who pissed off before he could walk. It all explained the internal fucked up. So, uh, Brian. Brandon. Brandon. Your friend uh, Jake was telling me you needed some work. He told me you needed a partner. Did he tell you what I needed a partner for? No, he didn't say. He didn't say you could pull me in. You have a record? A record. Can't copy a partner. No. 
If I could, we can start talking business. But firstly, I'm gonna kick your ass in this game. Now, to make it interesting, if you somehow end up kicking my ass and sink that black ball before me, I will personally buy all your drinks for the rest I was pretty good at porn, so after I kicked his ass, we had a piss off. And after the piss off came the conversation. Then we were sent to your business partners. Except unlike most, our combined business venture included breaking and entering. Have a seat, B. You care to uh, join me with a beer? I'm good, thanks. I forgot you prefer brandy. Can we get a double brandy Coke here, please? You do realize it's like 11 in the morning, right? It's 5 o'clock somewhere, and you need a drink. You look like shit. Shot. No, I mean like really shit. Like, when you walked in the door, I thought you were one of the crackheads that back up the road sneaking in to steal beer. Yeah, thanks, Carl. You're not on crack, right? Nope. Good, because I don't work with junkies. What about Sebastian? He was an alcoholic, not a junkie. He drove his getaway vehicle into a jungle gym. Yes, and he went to prison for five years and didn't rat us out. Unlike a junkie who would sell a girlfriend's tits if it meant taking another hit. Speaking of which, you had a few friends who partook in some uh, casual injecting, didn't they? What is this job you have for me? Job? What job? You know what? I'm not interested anymore. I'm taking the piss. Sit down, alright? Who's asking this? Some drug dealer. Big scary motherfucker. Probably made the fortune selling the goodies to your mates. Now this guy's smart, smarter than most, since a lot of these guys get caught driving around in fucking Ferraris when they have no actual job. You wanna rob a drug dealer? It's good money. A fucking drug dealer call. Not some... Broker insurance lady. We spent months robbing the wealthy insurance broker ladies, and look what happened. You're broke again. Look, with this guy, you'll be back on your feet, and you'll help that sweet lady of yours, alright? Look, I have a guy who's close with one of his main guys, and he knows when he's not going to be home, and he's told me when he's out. That's when we'll go. Okay, what security does he have? Just an alarm. No dogs. It's a safe area, so no electric fencing either. Jesus Christ, Cole. Relax. Why do you think I always meet you? I'm not taking a fucking gun. You said it yourself, drug dealers are more dangerous. And wouldn't you feel more safe if you had one of those to protect yourself? Fuck. We've never brought guns to this before. I'm not comfortable with this, dude. I'm serious. Everyone is a bit more tense these days, so we have to adapt, all right? Just keep it to the end of the job. Which is tonight? Yes, sir. I'll pick you up at seven. You're still in the same spot, right? I'll take that as a yes, then. Look, when the barman gets back, tell him to put your drink on my tab. I'll catch your broke ass tonight, then.
Leica. Baby. Baby. Babe. What's the time? 11.30. Alright, good. Let's do this. Shit, right now? We'll be home in a few hours. We don't want to cut it too short. And the alarm? It'll go off. You taking the first? It'll alert alarm securities, but by the time they get you, we'll be well on our way. Look, I've planned this to the T. You're just a pair of extra hands, buddy. Fuck! Six score. You told me we had nothing to worry about. Why are you worrying so much? Shit goes sideways. I'm leaving your ass behind. I hope you know that. Sure thing, sunshine.
Action. Flash. Turn. <laughs> flash. And cut. <laughs> <laughs> that was perfect because she looked to the camera before I even called it. See, Nolan knows what to do. Bring it in, John. Bring it in. It's Nolan. She knows her angles. She does know. It's Nolan. She's like, get my good side, director. <laughs> Justin, it's Nolan. Your cinematic debut, Paul. Nolan. 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 